Hello out there, YouTube. What's going on, guys? It is D Dunn here, the most chill COD player. And today I am bringing you another installment in this series on Consistent Lux channel or your gaming VOD. Kim with every gun. I feel like the title is pretty self explanatory. I don't think I have to go into what this series is about. It's a Kim with every gun. Today's gun that we're going to be talking about, discussing, going over is going to be the MR28 Marksman rifle. Which, in my opinion, is the best marksman rifle. We'll get into that a little bit later. Let's talk about the gameplay for a second. So, Consistent Luck, as you can probably tell by now, is playing Hardcore Domination on the map Octane. Um, hardcore is really, really good for a marksman rifle because um, it is a one-shot kill no matter what gun you use. Well, no matter what marksman rifle you use. It's going to be a one-shot kill. Um, the thing is, is that on Octane... You have to play really, really smart to get those long lines of sights um, because, as you can tell, he's using the scoped version of this gun, which brings me to my next point, in that he is using this gun with no attachments at all, in fact, um, which is pretty insane. Playing hardcore one-shot kills, it pretty much is a sniper rifle um, that's, that's spammable, uh, super deadly, especially in the hands of a great player like Consistent Luck. Of note, uh, playing hardcore, what you're going to see a lot of people do is they're going to run support for themselves. You know, they're going to be dropping SATCOM so they have a HUD. They're going to be dropping ballistic vests for themselves so they have extra health. Not consistent luck. This beast is using specialist, which, I mean, going for Kim Strikes, you would think that would be the way to go. But in hardcore, definitely not. Definitely not the way to go, at least in my opinion. So props to him for getting this, especially with no attachments. And he doesn't have people running support for him, as you're going to tell in this gameplay. He doesn't pick up a single vest. So just adds to the excitement, adds to the intensity, in my opinion. I think this gameplay is really impressive. And it's actually a decently fast Kim Strike. Not the fastest, but pretty good considering the circumstances. And he just plays this so smart. You know, one of the things watching this video that I noticed and that you guys can take note of whenever you guys are maybe using a marksman rifle is that he is some would say that you know he's just camping on the top of this building but that's not really honestly the way i see it in my opinion i think he's just playing this incredibly intelligent um you know he's able to use all these different spots to watch all the different spawns you can literally catch them off one two three four four or five of the major spawn points on octane which is pretty incredible so he's just using his head he's playing really smart and he's going to be picking up a pretty awesome kim strike here so let's Away from the gameplay, let's talk about the gun itself, the MR28. Now, in my opinion, I think this is the best marksman rifle, has the highest rate of fire, and even though in the marksman rifle category, it has the lowest damage and the lowest range, it still has a longer range than any of the other assault rifles, including the AK-12 and the Remington. So, you know, you're going to outgun anything, and especially with the high rate of fire, you know, in my opinion, this is the best the best marksman rifle that you can pick. Now, I've gotten a couple kims with it, and so I have experimented with a lot of different setups. And we're going to go over a little bit of uh, recommendations if you guys are wanting to use this gun and try and go for your own kim strikes. Now, first of all, like I said, it has the highest rate of fire out of all the marksman rifles. So one of the best attachments that you can use on this thing is going to be the three-round burst attachment. With the other ones, with the fire rate so slow, using the three-round burst is very very difficult because the bullets actually come out really slow you know with it's uh it's reflective of the fire rate um so whenever you're shooting people on the move or people up close the bullets just come out so slow that three round burst isn't really a viable option now with this gun it definitely is because like i said the fire rate is so high um and then other than that i would not recommend using the scope um i would recommend using a red dot sight or the the red dot or the iron sights and if you have a pretty decent trigger finger you can use the silencer um, especially if you're playing solo or something like that or um, you can use the muzzle brake the muzzle brake is really really good so is the silencer because the range is amazing so any of those things are really good as far as perks go uh, depends on how you want to play this weapon if you're going to play it in a more defensive role i recommend that you use like a red dot and like muzzle brake and then um I would actually take off Stalker because with a gun like this, uh, where you can't really afford to miss shots, uh, you're really not going to want to be strafing at long distance gunfights. So take off Stalker, just keep quick draw. And then if you want to play this in a more aggressive role, 
then I'd recommend using the red dot sights still or the iron sights. The iron sights actually give you added mobility on marksman rifles, so I think that's a good choice and you stalker and you could play it pretty aggressively. Now in the comment section below, I want you guys to tell me what your favorite marksman rifle is. Like I said, mine is the MR28. And that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did if you did enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like. If you hate it, then dislike it. And I'll see you on the next one.